Sleep, 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 sleep. Sometimes blare it in your Jeep so your peeps can stare at the rhymes. Real rhymes, not your everyday hologram. Even when ribs is touching, never swallow the ham. Yo. Oh. What is popping? We've got some exciting news coming through. Um, got some Joe K in the background. Some slow edits. Big up Joe K. We've got Soul Action. But anyway, man, for my subscribers, I just wanted to um, say a well, one. Let you know what time it is. I know I've been away for a minute. It's been a couple of months since we've um, put out some videos. So yeah, feel free to check the channel. Go back through the backlog. Um, yeah, man, see what we've got coming out. Um, some amazing conversations have been had. Um, and there's some plenty more to be come as well. <laughs> wanted to share with you a little bit about why I've been um, away for a bit. So yeah, man, I've essentially got a new job. Um, so lots of cha lots of changes, lots of things have changed. Um, and yeah, man, we're gonna keep it cracking. Got loads of tech that I've accumulated over the last couple of months that I want to take you guys through as well. So yeah, man, please stay tuned. But yeah, big love for staying subscribed. For those of you that are new here, um, check out the the channel. Um, yeah, man, lots of love and peace and blessings. Um, today I want to try and take you through something that I've got around in a minute. So you hear man, look out for it. All right, bless. Yo, yo, yo. Today we've got the the area DK. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we got the DK63 by the area, which I got off Amazon. Um, now, um, thankfully, um, we got hooked up with this through work. Now, I've sort of put this in the office setup just for me to use. Um, you know, it's a nice, decent keyboard. Um, just needed something that's going to, one, match the aesthetics, um, but two, just be efficient to use to get on with work. And something that's small enough to sort of throw in a bag and travel with if I need to as well. So we can see on the screen here how easy it is to set up. Um, literally just get it up and running via Bluetooth. Um, and then that's it, man. It's got the ability to be connected to three different devices. Um, so yeah, you can actually map that. Um, and here we can see it cycling through the different um, RGB modes, given that it's a gaming keyboard. Um, you know, there's plenty of different modes on here as well. Um, now I'm going to quickly run through some of the pros and cons. Um, so you can actually use this keyboard whilst it's off. There's a little off switch that you'll see at the back of the keyboard. Um, so whilst it's off but plugged into the USB, that will still function. So that's a good thing because if you walk away from your desk and come back later, you don't have to or turn off your computer um, whilst it's plugged in. It's not going to be draining the battery, right? That's staying on. Um, so yeah, that's pretty efficient. Um, you can turn the lights completely off um, if you don't want to have your lights going all over the place if you are bringing this into the office. Um, you can change the keycaps, um, uh, which is another pro. Um, if people would like to change the feel of it, being a mechanical keyboard, um, it actually comes with a keyboard, uh, what do you call it, a keycap um, tool so you can remove it, which is good. It's quite a narrow profile, a small profile, um, given that it doesn't have... Um, like the, the number keys attached. So it's, as I say, you can throw this in a bag quite calm. Um, I like the fact it's got an L-shaped cable, right? So yeah, you can see here, <laughs> if I had a normal USB-C on there, um, plugged in, it sort of overlaps. Like you've got to have it running directly like down the table, but where it's plugged into the side here, you can kind of angle it like this so it can go around the speaker, as you can see, um, you know, and then basically it looks a little bit more tidy on the table. Um, I'm showing you here the off switch at the back. It's got like these rubber little tips on the bottom as well to keep it in place. And here's the switch on and off. Um, but yeah, um, another pro as well, you can actually see the battery uh, percentage when you're connected to Windows through the software when you go into Bluetooth settings, but you can't on the Mac, which is unfortunate. There is a little bit of battery um, icon you can see on the Alt key just here on the right hand side at the bottom corner. Um, but I haven't yet figured out whether or not I can actually see what percentage the battery is like via the LEDs lighting up. So here's an example on the Mac. You can see that um, I've got the percentage, uh, you know, for my trackpad, but not for the keyboard. Um, some of the cons I want to take you through. The key caps being a mechanical key keyboard um, is very noisy. So if I'm on meetings and I'm running those meetings and I've got to have my mic off and I want to type some notes, 
it's long because all you can hear for example i'm going to type now can you imagine yeah as i started typing i locked off the whole final cut fam because it was connected <laughs> so i'm going to try and give you an example now um if this works so yeah you can hear me typing away so like it's not very professional to be hearing that sound whilst i'm on a meeting right so in an ideal world um what I'm probably going to do in the future is get some keycaps that are more quiet um, to resolve that problem. Now, um, another con. When I got this keyboard, um, it's actually the US style, so the enter key isn't as easy to hit naturally as I'm used to typing on those. Um, the question mark on this keyboard is in a weird place, like it's next to the up arrow, um, on the right hand side of the up arrow, and like the shift is on the left hand side anyway, so that's another thing. Um, there's no number pad, but that's a compromise that you make for getting a small profile keyboard. Um, and yeah, uh, the other thing I mentioned is about, is about like, I wish the keyboard made use of the fact that it's RGB to perhaps show you the level of battery, like by lighting up the keyboard, like from left to right. So the left side could be red, then the middle yellow, then like the right side green. And then essentially it just light up to oh, illuminate to whichever percentage of charge that it has in that form i think that'd be pretty cool and um, if anyone does that swing me the peas my idea <laughs> but yeah man that's it um so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed uh the link to this keyboard will be in the description below um and yeah man drop me a comment if you liked it um let me know what's going on and yeah we'll see you in the next one bless